Hey guys, today I'm here to film. Another book review, and today's book review is on Queen of the Ceiling by Erica Johansson. And I'm just going to read you the synopsis. It was on her 19th birthday that the soldiers gave the girl to Glynn. They came to escort her back. Her back. To help to the place of birth and to ensure she lives, survives long enough to take possession of what is rightfully hers. But like many 19 year olds, Kelsey is a man who has higher principles and believes she knows better than her elders. Unlike most 19 year olds, she is about to inherit a kingdom that is on its knees, corrupt, debauch, and very dangerous. Kelsey will either become the most recent ruler the kingdom has ever known, or be dead within the week. And I get this book. Four stars. I loved it. I like, really enjoyed this book, and I so many aspects of this I really admired. And I loved the protagonist, Kelsey. She was an amazing character. I loved her personality and how she changed to a responsible, mature woman. And I also loved the fact that she wasn't a beauty. It wasn't. Like beauty wasn't focused on her. Um, and it was focused on her decisions and not her looks. And I also loved how she was self aware of her looks. Um, I also really <coughs> enjoyed the world. And I loved how the POV, the point of view, shifts during the story and I love following Kelsey but it was also interesting to see more, a bit more behind the enemy's lines and this because of this it increased the tension Um, this is a fun, fantastic story, and I really, I did really enjoy it. Um, I also love the political intrigue in this as well. And I love. That there was possibly a romance going to be there between Kelsey and the Fetch, but it's only mentioned a few times in the whole entire book. And yeah, I enjoyed this, and I felt like to read the sequel, The Invasion of the Ceiling, and I'll have a book review of that book when I have read that. So, yes, bye guys, and see you in my next video.